today's topic is Boltzmann canonical distribution law according to Boltzmann's canonical distribution law for a system in thermal equilibrium with the heat source at absolute temperature T probability of finding this system in a micro state of energy EI is proportional to E to the power minus EI upon KT. Here K is a constant known as Boltzmann's constant. So according to Boltzmann's canonical distribution law, probability is proportional to E to the power minus EI upon KT. Here EI is the energy of the system. So it is the probability that the system have energy EI. And capital T is absolute temperature of the system. System is in thermal contact with a heat source having temperature capital T. So temperature of the system will be equal to the temperature of heat source and we assume this temperature as capital T. So at absolute temperature T the probability that a system have energy EI is proportional to E to the power minus EI upon KT. This is Boltzmann's canonical distribution law. K is constant and it is known as Boltzmann constant. Now we will prove this Boltzmann's canonical distribution law. Consider a system in thermal equilibrium with heat source at absolute temperature T. Total energy of system and heat source is constant equal to capital E. So we assume a system which is in thermal contact with a heat source at absolute temperature capital T. And total energy of this system and heat source is equal to capital E. We assume it as capital E and it is constant. Capital E is the energy of the system plus heat source. We have a system which is in thermal contact with a heat source at absolute temperature capital T. So the temperature of the system will also be capital T. And total energy of system and heat source is constant and we assume it equal to capital E. If system is in micro state of energy EI, energy of heat source will be E minus EI because total energy is E. If energy of system is EI, then energy of heat source will be equal to E minus EI. Similarly, when the system is in a particular ith state, ith state means state of energy EI, then number of micro state of heat source will be given by omega E minus EI because energy of heat source is E minus EI. System is in the state, in ith state, which is of energy EI. So energy of heat source is E minus EI and number of micro states, number of accessible micro states for heat source, we write it as omega E minus EI. Omega E minus EI E minus EI is energy of heat source. Omega E minus EI is number of micro states 
number of accessible micro states for heat source and from the postulate of equal a priori probability probability of finding the system in a particular ith state with energy ei and energy of heat source e minus ei this probability pi will be proportional to omega e minus ei here we have two things one is a system and it is in ith state having energy ei so we consider this ith state of energy ei as a particular state so number of state when system have energy ei is 1 and number of micro states for heat source it is omega e minus ei so probability that the system is in state of energy ei it is a particular state so number of state is 1 and number of accessible micro states that heat source have energy e minus ei is omega e minus ei so pi will be proportional to both the product of number of micro states for both system and heat source system number of micro states for system is 1 and number of micro states for heat source is omega e minus ei so probability pi will be proportional to product of these two that is 1 into omega e minus ei that is omega e minus ei or pi will be equal to c dash omega e minus ei c dash is proportionality constant if we write equal to in place of proportional we have to write a constant which we write as c dash so because pi is proportional to omega e minus ei so pi will be equal to a constant which we write as c dash into omega e minus ei in a similar way in a similar way probability of finding the system in jth state with energy ej and energy of heat source equal to e minus ej then this probability pj will be given by c dash omega e minus ej so we have two equations for pi and pj pi is the probability that system have energy ei and heat source have energy e minus ei then probability pi is equal to c dash omega e minus ei and the second probability is pj which is c dash omega e minus ej it is when the system have energy ej and heat source have energy e minus ej then pj will be equal to c dash omega e minus ej these are the two equations 1 and 2 dividing equation 1 by equation 2 if we divide these two equations then we get pi upon pj equal to omega e minus ei upon omega e minus ej c dash is cancel out and if we take log then log pi upon pj will be equal to log omega e minus ei upon omega e minus ej and it is equal to log omega e minus ei minus log omega e minus ej if energy of the system ei is much less than e and ej is also much less than e e is total energy and ei and ej are energies of the system if these energies of the system ei and ej both are much less than total energy e then we can expand these two terms log omega e minus ei and log omega e minus ej log omega e minus ei it will be different from log omega e if we make a small change in e 
and we write in place of e as e minus e i. e i is a small quantity. So log omega e minus e i will be equal to log omega e minus something. And what is this something? log omega e minus e i is equal to log omega e minus this something. This something is due to we have changed this e by e minus e i. We have reduced the energy by e i. So if we have reduced the energy then we have take this minus sign. Log omega e minus e i will be less than log omega e and it is equal to log omega e minus and this term we can find it as if we assume that if we make a change in e as delta e inside the bracket there are two terms in numerator we have delta log omega e and in denominator we have delta e so if we make a change delta e in e then change in log omega e will be delta log omega e we want to find this change in log omega e when we write e minus e i in place of e then what will be change in log omega e so this change in log omega e we write as delta log omega e and change in energy is delta e so when energy is changed by delta e when delta e is energy change then change in log omega e is delta log omega e if we change this energy by one then this change will be delta log omega e upon delta e and we are changing the energy by e i so this change will be equal to delta log omega e upon delta e into e i so log omega e minus e i is equal to log omega e minus delta log omega e upon delta e into e i. Similarly, we can write for log omega e minus e j. So minus log omega e minus e j will be equal to minus log omega e plus delta upon delta e log omega e into e j log omega e is cancelled out and we have only two terms and out of these two terms we take delta log omega e upon delta e as common and the remaining term is e j minus e i. This term delta log omega e upon delta e we write it as by beta and this beta is equal to 1 upon k t. T is absolute temperature and K is Boltzmann constant. So this term delta log omega e upon delta e is beta which is equal to 1 upon kT. So log pi upon pj is equal to ej minus ei upon kT. And if we take exponential on both sides then e to the power log x equal to x. So in left hand side we have pi upon pj equal to e to the power ej minus ei upon kt and we can write it as e to the power minus ei upon kt upon e to the power minus ej upon kt because we have pi upon pj in numerator we write the term of i and in denominator we write the term of j term of i is e to the power minus ei upon kt and term of j is e to the power ej upon kt and when this term comes into denominator then it will become e to the power minus ej upon kt. So pi upon pj is equal to e to the power minus ei upon kt upon e to the power minus ej upon kt. So we can write that pi is proportional to e to the power minus ei upon kt or pi will be equal to 
c e to the power minus e i upon k t c is proportionality constant and this is Boltzmann's canonical distribution law p i equal to c e to the power minus e i upon k t this is Boltzmann's canonical distribution law from this it is clear that for constant temperature probability of finding the system in lower energy is more than that for higher energy if energy is increased then we see that this probability will be decreased so probability will be higher when energy is lower definition of temperature from this Boltzmann's canonical distribution law we can define temperature according to Boltzmann's canonical distribution law if a system is in thermal equilibrium with heat source at absolute temperature T probability of finding the system in energy E i is given by P i equal to C e to the power minus E i upon K t it is according to Boltzmann's canonical distribution law probability that system have energy E i is equal to C e to the power minus E i upon K t t is absolute temperature of system similarly probability of finding the system in energy E j it is given by P j equal to C e to the power minus E j upon K t these are equations 4 and 5 if we divide these two equations then we get P i upon P j equal to e to the power minus e i upon k t upon e to the power minus e j upon k t and it is equal to e to the power e j minus e i upon k t and if we take the log of both the sides then log p i upon p j will be equal to e j minus e i upon k t log e to the power x equal to x and this gives the definition of capital T that is absolute temperature T is equal to E j minus E i upon K log P j P i upon P j this equation gives the definition of temperature according to Boltzmann's canonical distribution law now we consider a question the relative probability for a system at temperature T to be find to be found in two states with an energy difference of 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 21 joule is E square. E square is the relative probability for a system at temperature T to be found in two states we have two states and energy difference is given as 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 21 joule and probability of finding in these two states the relative probability of finding in these two states is E square so it is the ratio of the probabilities in two states and it is given as E square so from Boltzmann's canonical distribution law probability P i of the system in state of energy E i at absolute temperature T is given as P i equal to C e to the power minus E i upon K t similarly probability P j of the system in state of energy E j at absolute temperature T is given by P j equal to C e to the power minus E j upon K t. So we have these two equations from Boltzmann's canonical distribution law for energy E i probability P i is equal to C e to the power minus E i upon K t and for energy E j the probability P j is given as C e to the power minus E j upon K t if we divide these two equations then we have p i upon p j equal to e to the power minus e i upon k t upon e to the power minus e j upon k t and it is equal to e to the power e j minus e i upon k t.
and it is given as e square ratio of these two probabilities pi upon pj this is the relative probability and it is given as e square so e to the power ej minus ei upon kt equal to e square pi upon pj is given as e square and pi upon pj is equal to e to the power ej minus ei upon kt so we have if we compare these two terms then we have ej minus ei upon kt equal to 2 and this gives the temperature t equal to ej minus ei upon k it is not kt it is k so t equal to ej minus ei upon k ej minus ei is the energy difference and it is given as 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 21 joule and in denominator we have only k which is Boltzmann's constant it is 2k in place of kt we have 2k so 2 into and value of k Boltzmann constant is 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joule per degree Kelvin then this temperature comes equal to 123.9 and unit of this temperature is degree Kelvin because it is absolute temperature now we consider statistical postulates write basic postulates of statistical mechanics so we consider the basic postulates of statistical mechanics we write these as statistical postulates following are the basic postulates of statistical mechanics number one for a system with degree of freedom f we consider 2f dimensional phase space in which there are f position axis and f momentum axis for three dimensional case we consider six dimensional phase space we have three axis for position and three axis for momentum six coordinates of a point are given as x y z p x p y p z so if we have three degrees of freedom we have six dimensional phase space three dimensions for position and three dimensions for momentum similarly if a system have degrees of freedom f then we consider a phase space of two f dimensional f dimensions are of position and f dimensions are for momentum number two this phase space is divided into phase cells phase cell is a smallest volume element in phase space and it represent a micro state so this phase space is divided into phase cells volume of each phase cell is h0 to the power f for three dimensional case for three degrees of freedom case this volume of phase cell will be equal to h0 to the power 3 and for f dimensional for f degrees of freedom this volume of phase cell is equal to h0 to power f in classical mechanics in classical statistics we can choose h0 as small as we want while in quantum statistics h0 is equal to h Planck constant there are two types of statistics classical statistics and quantum statistics in classical statistics volume of phase cell is h0 to the power f h0 is arbitrary constant it is arbitrary number h0 is an arbitrary number in classical statistics and we can keep it as small as we want but in quantum statistics the volume of phase cell is h to the power f here h is constant and it is Planck constant it is equal to 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second 
नंबर थ्री वी कैलकुलेट नंबर ऑफ एसेसिबल माइक्रो स्टेट्स दैट इज ऑल माइक्रो स्टेट्स पॉसिबल अंडर गिवन रेस्ट्रिक्शन नंबर फोर प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इक्वल ए प्रायरी प्रोबेबिलिटी इज ए बेसिक पोस्टुलेट ऑफ स्टेटिस्टिकल मैकेनिक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस प्रिंसिपल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इक्वल ए प्रायरी प्रोबेबिलिटी अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस प्रिंसिपल फॉर एनी माइक्रो स्टेट प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ईच असेसिबल माइक्रो स्टेट इज सेम इफ वी हैव ए माइक्रो स्टेट देन देर मे बी मैनी असेसिबल माइक्रो स्टेट्स फॉर इट एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ईच असेसिबल माइक्रो स्टेट इज सेम सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए माइक्रो स्टेट पी आई इज प्रोपोर्सनल टू द नंबर ऑफ इट्स करस्पॉन्डिंग माइक्रो स्टेट्स ओमेगा आई पी आई इज प्रोपोर्सनल टू ओमेगा आई ओमेगा आई इज नंबर ऑफ माइक्रो स्टेट्स करस्पॉन्डिंग टू ए गिवेन माइक्रो स्टेट देन प्रोबेबिलिटी पी आई फॉर दैट माइक्रो स्टेट विल बी प्रोपोर्सनल टू ओमेगा आई एंड इट इज इक्वल टू ओमेगा आई अपॉन समेसन ओमेगा आई वन अपॉन समेसन ओमेगा आई इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ वन माइक्रो स्टेट सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ओमेगा माइक्रो ओमेगा आई माइक्रो स्टेट विल बी इक्वल टू ओमेगा आई अपॉन समेसन ओमेगा आई वन अपॉन समेसन ओमेगा आई इज कॉन्स्टेंट देन पी आई विल बी प्रोपोर्सनल टू ओमेगा आई नंबर फाइव वी डिटरमाइन मोस्ट प्रोबेबल माइक्रो स्टेट्स फॉर विच प्रोबेबिलिटी इज मैक्मम दिस इज इक्विलिब्रियम स्टेट ऑफ द सिस्टम इक्विलिब्रियम स्टेट ऑफ द सिस्टम इज वन विच इज मोस्ट प्रोबेबल स्टेट फॉर विच प्रोबेबिलिटी इज मैक्मम टू डिस्क्राइब नंबर सिक्स टू डिस्क्राइब डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ए सिस्टम वी फाइंड एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ दैट प्रॉपर्टी इन इक्विलिब्रियम स्टेट ऑफ द सिस्टम If value of some property x in ith micro state is x i, then its average value, average value of some property x is given as equal to summation p i x i, and p i is equal to omega i upon summation omega i. So average value of x is equal to summation x i omega i upon summation omega i. here x i is the value of x in ith state these are the basic postulates of statistical mechanics